In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import ratings for products on your e-commerce website inside of Odoo. So we have a brand new database here. The first thing I'm going to do is go to website and I'm going to create a couple products. So we'll create product one and product two. And we're going to publish both of these products so they're available on the website. So you can see that it's published and then we'll just update both of these. And now they're both available on the website. So let's open up the website in a new tab. We'll go to shop and we'll see both of our products. <laughs> Now we want to enable ratings, so we'll go to customize and click discussion and ratings. So each product can have its own rating system. Now inside of Odoo, the way ratings work um, are twofold. So we have ratings, which is going to have a value from zero through five. And then we have a message and that message corresponds or relates to a rating. And the messages are going to be used or using the message model inside of Odoo, whereas the rating is going to be using the rating model and they will link to one another. So we have to upload or import two different imports so that we can have our rating and our message and then link them together. So we're gonna do a test rating right here. So we'll say that we'll give it a four star rating and we'll say this product is great. And we'll click send and you'll see the rating right on the side with the rating, um, out of, with the stars and then the message. Now on the back end, what happens is if we go to our product and we'll go to product one, you'll see in the chatter, we have our rating. And this rating is going to be linked to a particular rating inside of the rating model. And the way we can see this is by using our studio app and we're gonna add two menu items, one for message and one for ratings. So we'll click edit menu, we'll click new menu and we'll say ratings from an existing model, which is going to be our rating model. And we're also going to add messages. So we'll say messages from an existing model and it's going to be our message model. And we'll click confirm. We can close out of studio. We'll go to ratings and we'll see our one rating here. We'll go to messages and we'll see a ton of different messages. These are all of our messages throughout the database, all the different chatter that you've seen throughout the database. Uh, but more specifically, we'll take a look at this most recent one, which is our rating that came in. And this rating is related to our rating that we created. And you can see under the ratings tab, we have one related rating to this message. Inside of ratings, we're going to need to import to this. So we'll go to studio and we'll click can create. And this will allow us to go to action import or favorites import record, I should say. And this will allow us to import right to that. So now I have a pre-built out Excel sheet where I have all the fields that we need in, in order to import. So I'm gonna pull that up. The first thing we want to import are messages. So we have several fields that are required in order to accurately display and link our messages and ratings. The first thing you wanna see here is our external ID. This is going to be a unique identifier for this particular record throughout the entire database. And we're going to use this message external ID inside of our ratings in order to relate back to this ratings. This is going to be a related field. We have a date and this is going to be the date that the rating was created. And you might want to backdate this if you're importing from another website. We have the author external ID. So who created this? So what we're going to do, if you had existing contacts in your system that you want to use, you can export your contacts and then put the external ID here. But what we're going to do for the sake of this demonstration is we're going to import these two contacts. And again, we have our external identifiers to uniquely identify this record inside of the database. So we're pulling those into the message so we can relate to our contacts model, which is res.partner. Now we have the model and the model is going to be the model that this message relates to. And it relates to the product.template because remember these messages are just um, for the most part chatter throughout the database. So every model is going to have chatter and we're going to relate it to the particular model, which is going to be contacts. I'm sorry, it's going to be product.template. Now, every model is going to have a list of records and those records have unique IDs. You can use external ID or the database ID. 
In this case, we're using the database ID of the record. And you can get that by exporting your products and exporting the ID field to see what ID the record is. You can also look inside of the URL. And if you're in debug mode or developer mode, you can either look in the URL, which I know you cannot see right now, or you can go to the bug and view fields. I'm sorry, view metadata. And we'll see the ID for this record is one because we created product one first. And then for product two, you'll see that if we go to view metadata, the ID is two. So here we can say that this one's going to be for product one and this one's going to be for product two, or we can make them both for product one or product two. The message type is a comment. The subtype is a discussion. And then we have the record name. This is just a name of the record. It's not necessarily unique. So you can have any name here. They can be the same. Um, you can just write the name of the product if you want. This is not going to be displayed to the customer. So I'll just change this to product one and product two respectively. Then we have the body, which is going to be the message that's going to be held for this comment or this message. And then from there, we have our ratings. So our ratings are a little bit simpler. We have the external ID, which is going to be the unique identifier again for this particular record throughout the database. We have the rating number, so zero through one, or zero through five. The feedback, so we have the same feedback from our body here. We have our res model ID, so this is going to be on product template. We have the ID of the product again, so we wanna copy over the same ones we have here, so one and two. We have the external ID of the message associated with this rating. So we have message one and message two. And keep in mind, you can have as many as you want and as many ratings and messages as you want per product. Consumed is, tr is uh, true. So this is going to link our ratings and messages. And then we have our partner ID, which is going to be the same partner ID that we set on our message. So a lot of duplicate fields there. Um, and I know it seems like a lot, but once you just set up these fields, it's fairly simple. So I'm going to save this and then we're going to test and import. So let's go back to our model here or our database. The first thing we're going to do is go to customers and we're going to import our two customers. Let's go to downloads, we'll import our ratings and we're going to import our contacts, very simple, external ID, name, and email. So we can test that and import because everything seems fine. So now these both, both of these records have that external identifier associated with them that we can use anywhere in the database. Next thing we're going to do is go to ratings and import our ratings. So we'll import records and we'll go click our same file and we'll click ratings. Actually, what we want to do first, I'm sorry, we want to actually import our messages. So we'll go to favorites, import records, upload file, and we'll import our messages. And since I wrote these descriptions in, we actually have to delete these descriptions. The system's going to pick them up, but I will leave them on a sample file attached to this video. So let's save that one more time and then we'll reload that file in. So we're uploading messages. As you can see, all the fields come in automatically. We have the external ID, date, the external ID of the author, the model, the reps ID, the message type the subtype, the record name, and the body. So we can test that, everything seems valid, so we'll go ahead and import that. Now we imported one to each record. If we refreshed our page on product one, we'll see that we currently have that message brought in. It has two comments, but the rating is not there yet. And now we need to link that rating. So we're gonna go to our ratings tab, we're gonna import our record, and we're going to go to ratings, test, and import. And now we can refresh this once again. And we'll see now that the, rate, the rating is attached to the comment. We have our two reviews, the one original review, the new one that we created for Bob. And if we go to product two, we'll have one review for product two. As you can see here, a two star, and we have our comment. So that's all you need to do uh, in order to import ratings into your system in case you want to import all of your ratings for products from an old system.